Let's talk about uh, when you get into the music, man. Pursuing the music. How I always does... was rapping. Yeah. I was rapping. I was rapping. When the f- we made that shit with Todd Black? Like, what's that, like 2012? I seen music from like with eight Bando. years ago. Yeah, I got, I've been rapping for a long time. But I never was really rapping on some I'm about to be a rapper. Yeah. Niggas, niggas knew me as the nigga that dropped one track a year. And yeah. then just disappear. Yeah. You know I mean? But but then one day I was just bored and I'm in the crib. I think it's me, my son, Pito, um, Wayne, and my son, um, S550. Okay. I was just bored. I ain't had shit to do. And I'm like, where niggas at? Niggas like, yo, we in the crib. So I pull up to Brownsville. I'm in the crib with them niggas. Niggas in there just going off on beats. So yeah. I'm like, Yo, we might as well go to the studio, nigga. Like, what we doing chilling in the crib? Niggas, like, I bet you can find one. Niggas booked it. We went, got drunk, went in there. Niggas made folk in the trunk part one. Yeah. I think I, I, I then we shot the video and I went to turn myself in like the next day. Yeah, I heard. You, know I mean? you, you wasn't even out while yeah, it was. Yeah, I wasn't out when it came out. So yeah. when that shit came out, that shit did like, like 40K views or some shit like that when it first came out. Mm-hmm. I ain't never get no views like that. So yeah, yeah. I get the mail while I'm in jail. I'm looking at that shit. I'm like, I'm about to be a rapper, nigga. Bro. Like, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. about to do. I'm about to rap, bro. That's what's up. So I just start writing mad raps while I was in jail. Then I came home and I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's do some rapping. That's what's up. Uh. That's what's up. Now, with, um, you know, you bring up Folk in the Trunk. It's, it's um. Before that song, what was the views like? Like, cause you say you. I don't you think I ever did over a band. Okay. Oh, yeah. I I don't think I did. I think the max I did was like nine hundred. Wow. Oh, like, and then you dropped. But then that was cool at that time because yeah. niggas wasn't shooting like niggas wasn't like shit. Shit wasn't going up crazy like that. Like you feel me? Yeah. So forty thousand had to be like so oh, forty thousand uh-huh. bust my head like oh shit I'm up yeah. there now. Yeah. Like, or the niggas that was getting the most views back at that time was like. Bando, um, I remember, yeah. Ivo, wow, DOD niggas, you feel me? Bleezy, KR, yeah, uh, yeah, them, them niggas, Hayes, they was getting all of, they was doing the numbers back then in Brooklyn, yeah. So a band and me was Gucci. I was like, shit, I got a band, I'm good. Yeah, now nah, I feel you. Right. I feel you. Now at a, at any point, did you think to yourself like, yo, like, cause this is something that's still going on now. Somebody might drop a song, they not dissing, and then once you diss, it goes up. So at that point, are you thinking to yourself like, damn, all right, so this is kind of the formula. This is what is going to make nah. the numbers jump? Nah. I ain't even going to lie. I woke up one morning on Hots and just made Folk in the Trunk Part 2. <laughs> I it wasn't nothing that happened. I don't think nobody bothered me. I think I listened to a track or some shit, and I was just like, yeah. A track by, by, by I them? I don't know who uh, I listened to. Okay. All I know is we had a 24-hour session for the studio, right? Yeah. And I was the first nigga to walk in that mall. And I told the producer, I said, yo, I'm making the wackiest diss track ever made <laughs> today. He like, what beat we chosen? I don't know. Put one on, walked in the booth, and he found the beat. I said, let's do it. And I freestyled that whole shit. Wow. Uh, then I'm wow. like, I'm like, all right, I need somebody else on this shit with me because I had somebody on the first one. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see what the nigga um S550 on. But then I'm like, I'm looking at his numbers at the time. His number wasn't going too crazy like that. Feel me? My son D Sav shits was going up though. Yeah. So I'm like, shit. All right, D Sav, you get on this shit. You feel me? Yeah. That's why I pulled up. That's why I did the. He did the ad libs on Fucking Trunk Part Two. Mm, okay. You know I mean? He be feeling left off. You not left off. You did something. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Got but, you. Now, now let's talk about Fucking the Trunk, the video. You know, like one? the the first one. Oh uh, yeah. So now the first one. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I know some of it is shot in Ebbsville. Yeah. Is some of it also shot in um Marcus Garvey? Yeah. Like on the now doing that, like at any point was you like, I right, this could go really good, which it ended up working in your favor, or it could go really bad. You know what I'm saying? At any point did anybody that was going there like like yo, this could go kind of bad, y'all. Man, y'all all down for this? It was there. We was we was nervous. 
I don't think we I don't think we I think we just like do this shit. That's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think I don't think at no time we ever was like some because at the same time, we got we got a scene on the back block. On the back block, what's that? On on River is Riverdale? We got a okay. scene on Riverdale. Nigga could have spun us on Riverdale. Like we don't got to be in the hops to get spun on. Nigga, we standing out in the middle of the strip. You know what I yeah. mean? You can get us there. Yeah. So niggas just was like, fuck it, let's go do this shit. And then we just did it. Who who's our idea? Like no. <laughs> a menace. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, what was sh- you gotta shout out? You gotta shout out the cameraman. Though. I was just you gotta shout about out my to son need to connect for that, like, cause some cameraman would have been like, Hold on, I thought this. that was K Dottie on that one, the the first one. Was it? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. I'm not sure. I think I thought Meet the Connect shot over. Yeah, yeah, K Dotty. K Dotty for the K-Dottie first shot one. The first one? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. So my bad, K Dotty. Yeah, now that's what I was gonna ask. And he was just down for it, like, yo, let's go. He was like, whatever you wanna do, let's do it. I that's said, come on, we out. Uh, wow. I shot some of that shit on Lincoln. And yeah. I'm like, come on, we gonna go to Abbott's Fair. Gotcha. I did, when I left Lincoln, cause I'm driving, I see the little, they had some little, little construction shit on Lincoln. So I'm like, we can stand up on the construction shit. Then I'm over there and we're like, might as well go down the block, go to Abbott's Fair, you feel me? Yeah. We went to Abbott's Fair, shot the shit. I mean, niggas be talking about how niggas was there five in the morning. Uh, uh, bro, we was there like what twelve? I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't like we was there nine o'clock in the nighttime. You feel me? Yeah, it was like twelve, man. Like eleven, twelve. Yeah, you feel me? Like, does that does that does that play into things like? And when I say that, as does it discredit the act if you're you at can't a come to, I know, I know, I know, I know for a fact. Okay, certain places we be at, you ain't coming over there no time. Niggas outside all yeah. day, bro. Don't let nobody fool you like, oh, nobody be outside ever. Bro, you can always find somebody outside, outside where it comes to the peas. Feel me? Like, yeah. niggas be outside doing anything. Can't eat, smoking. Uh, niggas be outside, unless it's freezing cold. Yeah. And niggas yeah. inside the building or some shit like that. You feel me? Yeah. And even then, niggas will be in the building, in the lobby. Uh, uh, niggas be around. Like, yeah. you want to find somebody, you could go get them. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel you. I feel um, you. Was so, it, yeah, go ahead. When they, sh- when they, when niggas started going, oh, uh, I'm like, man. Yeah. Oh, well. Shit done and we got it done. Yeah. <laughs> What was like the energy? Like, what was the fans saying? What was the energy around that time? Yo, we wasn't gonna drop folk in the trunk part two. Why? That shit was we was violent on that. So I'm like, man, I okay. ain't dropping this shit. We going to what? jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I ain't dropping this shit. It, some I gave it to some niggas in the peas. They started sharing it. I think the bitches, I think it was bitches. You know, bitches make the world a small place. Yeah. They start sharing the shit. Niggas. The ops get it. Mm. The ops dropped the shit on SoundCloud. Mad weird. They think this shit was titled Folk in the Trunk by Fat Ass Costamato and Fat Ass D Sav. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the views on, on SoundCloud like, that shit showing. Like, oh, nah, that shit showing. Wow. Then I call D Sav and I'm like, yo, D Sav, that shit showing. So D Sav go, he look. He like, nah, that shit go. I said, yo, we gotta shoot the video before they take all the. Views for this shit. Yeah. So we went, we shot the video the next day. D Sav wanted to go back to Ebbsfield. I'm like, nah. Yeah, that would do been, it twice. That would have been um, crazy. Yeah, D Sav wanted to go to Ebbsfield that night. Did, did y'all ever think, like, all right, so we over there, they're going to have to come to our block soon. You know, did y'all ever think that, like, they going to come? Wow. It's not like that in Brownsville, really, bro. Even me going over there is kind of like off. Like, it ain't no pull up and do weird shit. You yeah. feel me? Like, if you get caught up, you getting caught up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, um, that happens, whatever. I, what? I remember seeing a video back in the days where there's a cop car riding through Marcus Garvey. Yeah, that cop is crazy. And he's playing folk in the trunk. I don't know if it was one or two, but- It was, it was two. It was two. Yeah. And I'll never forget, I was like, there's no way this happened. I don't, I don't know why they did that. What, 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 what was your thoughts when you seen that? Like, going to jail. You said what? <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> or like they gonna do some dumb shit and have me tied up. Yeah. And I'm gonna go to jail. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Wow. 
Nah, that's crazy. So now, um, now what's the what's the environment like for you now? Y'all dropping them records. You're going up. It's it's obviously y'all getting the views. Y'all. It's crazy that they're the ones that actually put two out. Yeah, that's crazy. That out. I, ain't put that out. I didn't know that. Yeah. So they they put it out. It kind of helps. It kind of helps the marketing. Y'all shoot the video. Y'all are going up. What is the thoughts now between you, your camp, musically? Not even on no beef stuff or no drama. What is what is going through your mind at that time? At that time, you got. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was niggas was. We still wasn't them niggas when with the rap shit like. Yeah. I'm, I'm other niggas was doing their thing. Well, yeah. until about April. Cause I think Folk in the Trunk dropped like December. Yeah. Like December. And them niggas, um, niggas was doing their thing to like, and I, I remember I posted that shit. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all niggas had the winter. Y'all had this shit rocking. Watch how we do after April. And I swear to God, April came and we just always on some rapping shit. Like, yeah. Favi, Pop, everybody just thought, like, niggas just start dropping heat. JD, everybody just start dropping some shit. <laughs> and yeah. after that, there was no looking back. Like, I niggas feel. just start going crazy. Yeah. Did, um, was that ever like motivation, like watching? Because I, I, I won't lie, I think at some point I did see that they were dropping a lot of yeah, music, kind of had the streets. Yeah. Um, was that ever motivation for y'all? Like, yo, we, we can't allow this. Like, we got to start going crazy. Not for me. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I just know, I just know when a, the distance for me, I'm like, if we diss him, we could we could do this. Like yeah. that's how I looked at it. Like if we want to do this, we could do this. Like, cause I'ma talk dirty. Like, so yeah. that's how that that's how a lot of us kept got, got like lit. Cause it was like, all right, if this is what we could do, we could do this better than y'all. Cause y'all ain't really got much to say. Yeah, this got shit to say. So yeah, gotcha. that's how that went. 